Hello everyone, I'm a very warm welcome to WS Cube Tech. So guys, in our previous session, we have learned about how we can display websites in our Chrome. In our today's session, we will be talking about request library in Python. So guys, what is this request library? We have already installed this library previously in our packages. Today, we will be understanding that how does this library work? What is basically this library? Also, I'll tell you that this is the one of the most amazing library in Python. Why this is one of the most amazing library in Python is because this is the most downloaded library in Python. Also, uh, on per day basis, I guess 400,000 is the number that uh, this is the number of times this library gets downloaded on the daily basis. So again, I would say it's an amazing library. Now, if I talk about it, that what is its features, how does it work? So first of all, the request library is used to get the HTTP from any website. For example, if you are talking about any website and if you want to extract its data, all you need is HTML. That's what I told you in our previous session that we need its HTML code. Now to get that data, we need to use the request library so that we can take a HTTP request from there. So to understand this, I'll just simply write a program. That here I will import requests. Now to get a request library, all I need to do is write a URL here. So URL is equals to and let's open any website. So I'll just open Chrome. I'll write WS Cube Tech courses login. Let's open this page. Let's go to the home page. Uh, let's copy this link from here. If I copy this link and come back to my program, I'll paste it here. I will use a variable over here rr is equals to request dot get and here we will be passing our URL. You can directly write the URL inside this or you can create a variable as well. And if I write print r dot status code. Now what is the status code? I will also explain this to you. As soon as I run this, I will be getting a response of 200 over here. Now what is this response 200? Let's understand this. So I will just Google it for you that if I open a new tab, status code. And there are different, uh, you can see over here it says HTTP response status code. And let's just click on this one. So it gives us information like this that informational responses lies between 100 to 199. Successful response lies between 200 to 299. So the successful response over here means that we uh, the request was successful and now we can view the HTML of that page. The redirection messages lies from 300 to 399. The client error responses, client error responses like page not found or these kinds of responses you might have seen uh, previously maybe sometime while exploring to any page while exploring any page so these are basically the responses we got 200 that means okay you can get uh, the HTTP okay similarly there are more of them for example uh, at some sites we can get 400 401 so if I open this website of Hindustan Times uh, let's open anything for example let's open here India and let's copy this. Let's come back to our code and instead of this, if I pass this URL here and let's run and see what output we'll get. So you can see it gives us 401 status code and if I go back to my browser and open this, the 401 over here says that it is unauthorized. That means although the HTTP standard specifies unauthorized, semantically this response means unauthenticated. That is client must authenticate itself to get the response, requested response. Okay. So this is our 401 is an unauthorized. That means you cannot access the HTML of this page. Okay. Now, if you want to get a text from here, that means if you want to, this is just the status code. If you want to obtain the HTML for that, all you need to do is write. That means if you want to get it in here, Python, then all you need to write is r dot text. And let me just put this one in the comment box and uh, let me just change this from Hindustan time to our WS Cube text website. So let me just copy this and come back here on our code. If I paste it and run it again. Here I will get the whole HTML of this page. As you can see, if I go on the top of this page, it says something like document type HTML, HTML language is English, head title WS Cube Tech is the title. 
and if I come back to my browser click on inspect over here right click and click on inspect the first thing that we get over here would be again document type HTML HTML language is English header inside the header we will be having the title here and the different things so as of now we will just understand this that we have obtained the whole HTML of this page inside our Python so this is the work of our request library so with the help of request library first of all you need to get a response and if the re response is successful then further we can scrap that page using the beautiful soup so i hope guys that till now what we have learned is clear to you what we have understand about the request library is clear to you so guys in our next session we will be talking about how we can obtain html using our beautiful soup library so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session thank you